Since Facebook unveiled its digital currency project Libra, it's gotten consumers, banks and regulators talking. Now, some people also want to bring that conversation into the classroom. The University of Geneva plans to be the first university in the world to teach Facebook's Libra to its students as part of its blockchain course starting in September. I'm joined now by Dr. Jean-Marc Seigneur, senior lecturer at the university, who first came up with the idea. Tell me about Good your morning. first reaction when you heard about Facebook's Libra at the very beginning. Uh, it was um, uh, a big surprise uh, that it would be based uh, in Geneva. Uh, it's a very, very good um, uh, news for Geneva ecosystem, especially the blockchain ecosystem. So it was a, um, a very good surprise. Facebook now has only released a white paper so far. And I've got it here in front of me. It's just 12 pages. It's very short. Why should people be even taking your class if they can just read this document? Yes, so if you go to the uh, Libra.org uh, website, you will find also uh, more technical documents. Uh, the white paper that you have uh, is uh, completed with uh, technical documents, uh, for example, uh, Libra blockchain, uh, uh, let's say white paper or, or yellow paper, uh, which has been co-authored by more than uh, 50 employees of Calibra which is the entity of Facebook, uh, which is uh, doing uh, the wallet for Libra. Do you think that it's too early to be teaching such a course? The currency is only set to launch in 2020. Uh, I mean, that's a good uh, timing, actually, because uh, at the time of, of uh, starting uh, teaching Libra, uh, it will have uh, matured. Also, uh, they have created uh, new, uh, new concepts, new uh, uh, interesting uh, technical innovations, such as, for example, the, the MOVE uh, programming language. So it's very interesting for students also to have a look at this. So what will students really learn if they take a class? Give us a walkthrough. Is it going to be more about the currency itself or the association that's based in Geneva? So uh, we have four modules in, in the course. The first module is open to anybody who is interested to uh, do a business with blockchain or a technical project with a blockchain. So we have business people and programmers. Uh, in this part, we will uh, teach more the payment and financial aspects of Libra, the legal aspects also. Uh, and then after the three other modules where we, we teach Libra to programmers uh, is for programmers. So starting uh, uh, the module with Libra, we will have a, a look at the new programming language, uh, MOVE, uh, first uh, of all for the programmers to be able to, uh, to use it. Uh, and then we'll go through uh, the payment uh, APIs first, because the first uh, types of applications that are uh, going to be possible are more financial payment solutions. Then after, maybe it will move to a more uh, different types of applications. Facebook has already attracted backlash from regulators in Europe as well as the US. How do you plan to teach the course if Facebook does continue to face more pushback? Yeah, so that's a, a very good opportunity actually to go into the legal aspects. In Switzerland, uh, it's pretty advanced from this point of view. Uh, then uh, Libra will have also to deal with the, all the different uh, jurisdictions in the world because uh, it's an international project. Uh, so it's a good opportunity to give a better uh, overview of the different legal uh, uh, frameworks in the world uh, related to blockchain. But on that note, how can you even design your curriculum if you don't even know what will be happening next year, depending on how it deals with regulators and if it can satisfy them? Yeah, so uh, as I said, I mean, the first module uh, is very broad, where we teach the basics of blockchains and also uh, distributed leisure technologies. Uh, we have a uh, like special uh, lawyers who uh, follow very, uh, very well uh, in detail uh, the different uh, legal frameworks, for example, uh, Olivier de Pierre uh, in Geneva. Uh, these people will uh, take care of uh, really teaching, you know, what's going on in the legal framework to, uh, uh, to the, the, the students. So 
Uh, anyway, we, we must uh, uh, always be uh, keep updated with the, the new legal uh, uh, frameworks, which are which are not finished uh, in many countries. Uh, so I think it's uh, there is no issue. I mean, it's uh, it has always always been the case that uh, legal aspects, uh, new legal aspects, must be taken into account in the blockchain ecosystem. Other major companies we've seen before, including JP Morgan, are also getting into blockchain with the release of their own digital coins. Why have you decided at this point to teach Facebook and not, say, some of the other firms that have also come out with new developments in that space? Well, you see, uh, Libra has chosen to be based in Geneva. Uh, we are the University of Geneva. Uh, there is a very good uh, blockchain ecosystem, so uh, we will be closer together. Uh, it's a very good opportunity to uh, start working with Libra and also the other international institutions in Geneva. So it makes it make uh, it made a lot of sense to uh, you know combine forces. Have you spoken with members of the Libra Association or anyone from the Libra entity as a whole to talk about how you can be collaborating on the education front? Yes, uh, so uh, we are discussing uh, with them. Uh, the idea is to uh, cover more like social trust, uh, um, the trust aspects, not only from te technical point of views, but also at the society uh, level. How can these uh, projects, innovation projects, be accepted by the so society, the governments? Uh, I'm, uh, I have been researching uh, distributed trust and social trust for more than 15 years, so that's what we are trying to uh, do, uh, go into more research related to uh, social, tr social trust, not only uh, technical trust. Uh, this collaboration with, say, the Libra Association, does that mean that potentially students can have someone from the association coming to the class uh, to help with this, uh, uh, this class and this module that you're teaching? Yes, yes, of course. I mean, uh, we uh, we will uh, uh, do uh, what what we can t in order to uh, also allow uh, people from Libra to to come to the course and uh, teach some parts of it. For example, uh, the most uh, advanced parts of uh, Libra blockchain, the, the technical parts, uh, might be taught by uh, developers from Calibra, for example. And who out of the twenty eight founding members have you been speaking to? Uh, so uh, at the moment I, I'm talking with like more the Libra uh, fa Facebook uh, people involved in uh, Libra. Uh, we haven't talked to uh, other like members uh, yet. And right now, do you already have an idea of how many students have expressed an interest to take this course, teaching Libra, um, the Libra course at the University of Geneva, starting at the end of this year? Yeah, so it, it was also good news because uh, Libra made a lot of uh, buzz around uh, Geneva and in the world. Uh, so we had much more people interested in uh, joining the course. We opened the module one to anybody, as I said, business people and programmers. Uh, so here we, we got more like uh, around like 10 more uh, students re registering to the course. Uh, this course is very specific. Uh, what we intend to do is to go very deeply in mentoring the programmers to go from the concepts of, uh, of the blockchain uh, system to uh, the implement implementation. So uh, we spend a lot of time with the students to uh, go towards a working prototype. Uh, so it's not a course uh, which is uh, only uh, teaching uh, like uh, basics and uh, not giving uh, input expertise. Uh, we provide uh, expertise to the programmers who join this course. We don't have so many. The maximum number of students is uh, 30 students. Uh, and we take a lot of time to uh, mentor them. Mm -hmm.